Hare Krishna. So we'll continue our study of the second chapter of the Bhagavad Gita in this section 5. This section will deal with Buddhi Yoga or the Yoga of Intelligence. About 15 verses in this section. Krishna, after telling Arjuna to fight on the basis of his duty, is now asking him to understand the higher understanding of dharma. He says, Neha vikramineshosti pratyavayuna vidyade salpam apyasya dharmasya trayate mahato bhayad. In any spiritual endeavor, there is no loss or diminution. And a little advancement on this path can protect one from the most dangerous type of fear. So what it means to say is even if we do a little bit of spiritual activity, we will get good results. And it will prevent us from going down to lower species of life. Suppose you do a little bit of bhakti, you chant one round Hare Krishna, you eat a little bit of prasad, you do some spirituality you will somehow or the other get good results. This result will never be lost. It will eternally be with you. But suppose you do a material activity. It will give you some good or bad karma and it will vanish in the due course of time. But spiritual karma or akarma will remain with the individual forever. Because that is called as spiritual pious activity or sukriti. So that's why Krishna says, Sulpam apyasya dharmasya. Even if you progress a little bit in spiritual life, that will save you from the greatest danger. The greatest danger in human life is that we come to human life and then the danger is because of our sinful activities, papa, we may become animals in the next life. But one who does spiritual activity, even little bit, he is saved from going down to lower species of life. Krishna further says, spiritual life means single-minded focus. Vyosa yatmika buddhir eke hakuru nandana bahu shaka hi anantascha buddhayo avyavasai So those who are resolute on this path they can progress so one has to be resolute so those who are on this path are resolute in purpose and their aim is one O oh, beloved child of the Kurus the intelligence of those who are irresolute is many brands so people if our focus is not on Krishna if we have multifaceted focus then we cannot progress much you can see even in our material life, if we take up too many things, we will not be able to complete even one successfully. Therefore, one should carefully select what we are going to work on, the task of the day, what will we do. Hence, we should fix up our goal properly and direct our energy intelligently. So, spiritual life means single-minded focus. Not that we do a party one day and next day we take up spiritual life again. No, we should be straight. Then Krishna says that in the Vedas there are different uh, karma khanda attractions like if you do a certain yajna, you will get a lot of wealth. If you do a certain yajna, you will go to the heavenly planets. If you do a certain yajna, you will get certain benefits. So he says that men of small knowledge are very much attached to the flowery words of the Vedas, which recommend various fruitive activities for elevation to heavenly planets, result in good birth, power and so forth. Being desirous of sense gratification and opulent life, they say that there is nothing more than this. So. In the Vedas, there is 80% of Karmakanda 
which encourages everyone to do certain sacrifices for promotion to heavenly planets, get a good wife, get a good house, get good money and everything. But a certain section of it is also Jnana Kanda which asks everyone to introspect the true self. And finally the last 5% is Bhakti Kanda where it gives an introduction to spiritual life. So Krishna is asking Arjuna to come to the point of realizing the Upanishads and Vedanta which deal directly with the soul, which deal directly with self-realization. So Vedanta or understanding spiritual knowledge is the goal of life. So one should not just do his duty just like that for material benefits. But one should do one's own duty with a spiritual mindset. For example, we cook. We can cook like vegetarian food. We can be pious. We can be good. But ultimately, if we do not offer that food to Krishna, then we become liable for karma. So, whatever we cook, whatever we do, if we do it for Krishna, as is said in the Vedanta, as is said in the Bhagavad Gita, we will be free from all karma. Bhogeshwarya prasakta naam taya apaharata chetasam Vyavasayatmika buddhir samadhau na vidyate So the word samadhi, samadhi means your mind is fixed completely on the supreme, a tranquil, peaceful mind. So those whose minds are too attached to sensual enjoyment and material opulence and who are bewildered by such things, the resolute determination for devotional service to the Supreme Lord does not arise. So too much material enjoyment will distract the mind from spiritual life. For example, movies, sports, then of course dating and all these things. These are too many botherations for the mind. By watching these things, the mind gets a negative impression. The mind gets disturbed. There are so many bad samskaras which generate within the mind. And especially sports, these are not at all good for spiritual life. So is sex. Because one not only loses energy, but also loses complete mental control. And Krishna says that samadhi, that is purification of mind, perfect intelligence does not arise if one is enjoying material things. So these two things do not go together. Material enjoyment and spiritual life, they do not go together. So Krishna here is building up a theme where he is explaining the seriousness of taking up the spiritual understanding of life doing one's duty in a spiritual sense. So we should not do our duty expecting we'll do a job, we'll get good money and then we will enjoy life. No. Krishna is saying that whatever we do, we should not try to simply enjoy life. We should try to purify the mind and the intelligence. Therefore, the mind should be free from all sense gratificatory desires. Because mind is the one that desires and body is the one that fulfills those desires. So Krishna says, therefore one should get attracted to the Vedanta, the spiritual aspect of the Shastras. Especially the Srimad Bhagavatam and the Bhagavad Gita. So the Vedas deal with the three modes of material nature. That is how this material nature acts and how to situate yourself perfectly in the different spheres of material enjoyment. But Krishna is asking Arjuna to become transcendental to three modes, to be free from all dualities and from all anxieties for gain and safety and be established in the self. So one who is focused or fixed in the self, he need not worry. Everybody in this world is worried about gain and safety. Where is money? Where is house? Where is security? Where is insurance? But none of these can save us. The point is, one should not think that that is all in all. As your faith in Krishna, as your faith in spiritual life increases, 
your focus will be very much fixed on krishna consciousness and you will see that your dependence will be on krishna and not anything else the bhagavatam and the bhagavad gita are the most transcendental scriptures the bhagavad gita is considered parallel to vedanta sutra and shrimad bhagavat is considered the post graduate study on transcendental subject matter so by the association of bhagavata and the devotees of the lord only one can get beyond the three modes one can be free from all anxieties when one is situated on a spiritual platform so one should aspire to be on the spiritual platform and be focused on the self yavanartha udapane sarvatah samplato dake tavan sarveshu vedeshu brahmanasya vijanatah so all purposes served by a small well can at once be served by a great reservoir of water similarly all purposes of the vedas can be served to one who knows the purpose behind them if you have many small wells in an area and you have a big reservoir the big reservoir can serve as a good medium or can fulfill the purpose of all the small wells put together therefore krishna is saying similarly the vedas are like the small wells and the big reservoir is like the vedanta or the bhagavad gita where self realization will give us all the answers all the gain and safety everything that we are looking for if we surrender unto krishna everything is found at his lotus feet krishna will definitely protect his devotees so krishna is asking arjuna to take up this spiritual understanding and develop that mentality activity might be the same you might be eating as other people you might be living a normal life as other people but the mentality is what matters so krishna is trying to encourage arjuna to take up spiritual mentality कर्मण्येवादिकारस्ते माफलेशु कदाचन मा कर्म फल हेतुर्भुर् माते संगस्त्व कर्मणि यू डू योर ड्यूटी यू डू योर वर्क जस्ट लाइक मेनी ऑफ यू आर सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर्स डॉक्टर्स प्रोफेशनल्स डू योर प्रिस्क्राइब ड्यूटी बट कृष्ण से इज Don't try to be a miser. Don't simply try to work hard, earn money, and just try to enjoy this world. Because one who gives you this energy to work, one who gives you all the resources to work, is me. So never consider yourself the cause of the results of your activities. You are working in this world because you do something. You see, there is, for example, they find something is a property of matter, like steel is very strong. and you use steel to build aircrafts and vessels and everything we are using it but who gives the steel its strength it is krishna similarly all metals the gold its shining is given by krishna so then if we try to make it our property then we are misusing it so what we should actually do is use it in the service of krishna never try to enjoy the results of the work and also now thinking that anyway krishna is the enjoyer he is doing everything then he is the one who gives the fruit so what is the use if i cannot enjoy and simply bound by karma krishna is saying no one should not have that mentality either one's mentality should be that you do service for your own purification and you do service because of course you have to maintain your own body and mind and one should dedicate whatever you have whatever gain you get through your service you should give it to krishna you should offer it to krishna so then it becomes perfect that is the positive way of looking at it so everything should be done in relation to krishna all the results of all our activities are given by krishna so first we should thank krishna even before we try to take the fruits of course everyone makes a living but 
a part of your earnings, profits, material fruits should be reserved for Krishna as told by the spiritual master. Therefore one should do his duty in a spirit of devotion trying to please Krishna. योगस्थ कुरु कर्माणि संगम त्यक्त्वा धनंजय सिद्ध्य सिद्ध्यो समभूत्वा समत्वम योग उच्चते Perform your duty equipoised to Arjuna, abandoning all attachment to success or failure. Such equanimity is called yoga. Sangam tyaktva dhananjaya. Sangam means attachment to victory or failure. Siddhya siddhya samabhutva samatvam yoga ucchate. Try to be on a level platform. Every time do not think you will emerge victorious. You will enjoy this world. No. Samatvam yoga ucchate. Being equipoised. is called yoga to be peaceful to be focused to always think about krishna so one should act in this world abandoning attachment to the fruits doing it as a matter of service like for example we are born so we have to do something we have to act in this world So how do you act you act according to the laws of Krishna you try to please Krishna but every time we act we are always fearful whatever we do will be success or failure whether it will be liked by others or not but eventually we should try to please Krishna if Krishna is pleased then we become successful that endeavor might be successful or not but by trying to do that endeavor sincerely we are trying to please Krishna that is success so that is called equanimity wherever only goal is to please krishna and if krishna wants he will make that endeavor successful and if krishna does not want that endeavor will not become successful but eventually whatever krishna wants it will happen and if we take it if we are able to understand this point then we will be happy durena hi evaram karma buddhi yoga dhananjaya buddho charanam anvichcha karpana phala hetavaha Krishna says, "O Dhananjaya, keep all abominable activities far distant by devotional service, and in that consciousness surrender unto the Lord. Those who want to enjoy the fruits of their work are misers." So, Krishna says that one should be engaged positively by serving Radha and Krishna, by performing devotional service, by always engaging in bhakti. You are. keeping yourself free from material contamination just like proper says when there is sunlight all the you people urinate in the open and there is so much dirt and all the smell but when there is sunlight it dries up everything and purifies all atmosphere so similarly when you do devotion service to krishna all that is troublesome to the heart and the mind is purified immediately so krishna says whatever you have whatever you get try to engage in bhakti try to use it in the service of krishna you got money donate it to the temple or build your own temple hmm? give some donation to the devotees if you are further inclined further purified always worship krishna chant hare krishna every day keep radha krishna at home offer them nice bhoga offer them nice aarti ka By doing like this, our mind is free from all contamination. One should not simply try to. Once you get some money, once you get some food and time, just eat, sleep, and become lazy. No, this is not the goal of life. One should not simply try to enjoy the fruits of his labor. One should try to serve Krishna with the fruits of his labor, and then he will become happy. So that is called as buddhi yoga. Buddhi yoga, Dhananjaya. Buddhi means intelligence. What is good for the soul? By what I will be elevated to spiritual life? Buddhi yoga. Krishna says, buddhi yukto jahati ha ube sukrita duskrite tasmad yoga yajjaswa yoga karma sukhasana. So one who is engaged in bhakti, 
in reading transcendental scriptures in chanting hare krishna always trying to serve krishna always trying to preach krishna consciousness he is above good and bad actions in this world so by engaging in devotional service one gets rid of all the good and bad activities in this life so therefore krishna is saying strive for yoga which is the art of all work karmajam buddhi yukta hi phalam tyaktva manishinah janma bandha vinirmukta padam gachchanti namayam so by thus engaging in devotional service to the lord great sages or devotees free themselves from the results of work in material world in this way they become free from the cycle of birth and death and attain the state beyond all miseries so by engaging in devotion service or bhakti great sages or devotees are free from the results of work this free from the result of work means if you do good karma you are born in heavenly planets or higher families but if you do bad karma you are born in a poor family or you are born in hell planet So he says that devotees free themselves from the results of work in the material world, by which we are freed from the cycle of birth and death. And in this way, by performing spiritual activity, we go to the spiritual world. As you can see, a picture of Vaikuntha here, where you see all the people in blue and all the ladies. They are all spirit souls, Atma. So the Atma. does have a spiritual body and when it gives up this material body it attains its true spiritual form in the spiritual world vaikuntha so spiritual life means actually of positive activity so we should strive so we should stop all material activity and try to perform devotional service or spiritual activity so that we can get entrance into vaikuntha the spiritual world as we can see and be with lord vishnu serve him and become happy serving lord vishnu personally in vaikuntha planets is when the soul attains the topmost pleasure so all the devotees here as you can see who look just like narayana they are serving lord vishnu wonderfully यदा ते मोहकलिल बुद्धिर्व्यतिष्यति तदागंता से निर्वेद श्रोतव्य श्रुत से सो वेन युअर इंटेलिजेंस हेज पास आउट ऑफ द डेंस फॉरेस्ट ऑफ डिल्यूजन यू शेल बिकम इन डिफरेंट टू ऑल दैट हेज बीन हर्ड एंड ऑल दैट इज टू बी अर्ड सो एवरीबडी हियर्स ओ दिस प्लैनेट इज गुड दिस कंट्री इज गुड दिस होटल इज गुड यू नो यू नीड टू एंजॉय सो पीपल वॉन्ट टू एंजॉय डिफरेंट थिंग्स बट वेन आर माइंड इज फिक्सड ऑन कृष्ण कॉन्शियसनेस देन वी आर एबल टू overcome attraction for these material objects shruti vipratipanna te yada sthasya se nischala samadha achala shraddha bhutte sada yogam avapsisi so when your mind is no longer disturbed by the flowery language of the vedas when it remains fixed in the trance of self realization then you will have attained divine consciousness so means when your mind comes above the enjoying mentality we work hard in this world we do some yagya we do some donation we do something and we expect enjoyment in return but in return if we expect the mercy of krishna trying to be spiritually elevated all the purposes are served so that is divine consciousness where one regards spiritual life to be the greatest benediction of all time so realizing the spirit soul is the greatest ever or the highest ever or the ultimate benefit that the humanity can get by serving krishna by realizing the soul one gains the topmost spiritual destination the pure destination of vaikuntha so that is what we should aim for that is what we should live for Hare Krishna so this section ends here and we will start the last section of the second chapter in the next video Hare Krishna